on YouTube. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you last. It's your boy, True Exodus, your friendly firearms pastor, bringing you today the MPX by SIG. And after 10,000 rounds, I've got to say, it's my favorite. You know, after being in the firearms game for a hot minute now, um, I'm not an expert still. I still have to work through things. I still have to figure things out, learn lots about guns. Just like any of you all who would go up on YouTube, do your research, try to make a best informed purchase. I gotta tell you, after spending so much time with this gun now, I'm thoroughly convinced that it's one of the best sub guns that you're gonna find on the market. We're here at 50. It's a fantastic shooter. Let's go into some of the details about it. So some features upon this platform that I really do dig. Number one, I really do like the ambidextrous mag release and the ambidextrous bolt release. I wish companies would just do this on everything, uh, especially the bolt release. I like having my finger right there. Uh, thank you, Magpul, for your bad lever. Kind of paved the way for that, either here nor there. On this particular model, I've got things that don't come on it. I've got this ScalarWorks Peak Sight, ScalarWorks Leap Mount. Aim point T1. I've got a charging handle. I can't remember who it's by. I'm so sorry, but I just don't care to remember things like that for whatever reason. It just doesn't stick in my brain. But I have a enhanced charging handle on it. It's, it's nice, big, and fat, and it works. It's very cool. Uh, once I find out, I'll drop it in the description. <clears throat> I have the uh, SIG, um, I don't know, buffer assembly, thingamadoo, uh, whatever. Folding adapter, really do like it, especially paired with the the Mod 2 here from uh, your Headworks. Now there's not a lot of particular sub little guns that I've had, but I've run a lot of them. Uh, Roman MP5s, uh, Chris Vector. I've spent about a little over 3,000 rounds with the Chris Vector. I have the Sig Copperhead, which I like. It's not my favorite. It's not come. It doesn't come close to this. Uh, let's see here. Um, Scorpion Evo. Uh, Tactical Edge RD9, lots of different types of guns. This is still my favorite little 9mm sub gun. And the reason why is, like I've said before, it's just its reliability. Uh, you don't have to clean these things very often because they're piston driven. I find that if you just lube up this bolt every now and then, uh, this thing's just going to sit there and run, 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 run. And I don't mean like lots of lube. I mean just like little bits of lube uh, because it doesn't need much in order to cycle back and forth. But again, it's not a, <coughs> um, let's flip you around. It's not a buffer assembly. There's no buffer that goes back into this tube so it can fire when it's closed or fired when it's collapsed. But it has these dual springs that sit on top of this. This whole system has been extremely reliable. As you can see, it's filthy dirty, but neither here nor there, it still works like a champion. Next level armament is this charging handle. It's just a, one that allows for bigger purchase on that charging handle there. Because it's piston driven, you don't get a lot of gunk and a lot of stuff down here in the lower receiver. All of that stuff is dumped at the front end of the gun, and it does a really good job, I think, kind of mitigating not only the recoil, but also the gas throughout the entire thing. Uh, because it's gas piston, a lot of that gas is just released up front. Um, it does come back for sure, and it gets things dirty, but it takes forever to get this stuff dirty, making the MPX uh, a good platform to suppress as well. Although I don't have any experience with it. That's just what the internet says. What else is there to report? Um, I don't have a lot that the internet has already said other than I've got 10,000 rounds of the gun. I don't remember the last time I've had a malfunction with it. Uh, in fact, I, I just, I can't, I'm trying to go back in my memory. I went back in my notes. I have not been able to find one. That's not to say that there hasn't been one, uh, but it's just, it's that reliable. Um, $2,000, you, you gotta clean it every 2,000 rounds, you know, it's good, it's good to go. Uh, so what do I have to say in conclusion? Man, uh, I don't tell people to go out and buy guns. If you're looking for a sub gun and you wanna save up $2,000 and buy this, you are not gonna regret it. I promise you, I absolutely promise you. The reliability is there, you're probably gonna have to flop out for a trigger like a, a Geisley, have the Geisley drop that in there. But the reliability is there, the recoil impulse is there, everything about this gun is money, money, money in the bank and it's going to retain its value pretty well just because of how reliable the platform is uh, i can't speak of its reliability enough it's just been 
it's like the, it's been the cat's pajamas for sure. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. I wanted to drop this in because so many people have just been reaching out to me recently about what do you think about this? What do you think about this gun? What do you think about this gun? And after spending so much time with this gun, I may be a little biased. Like I said, SIG did send it to me for nothing. Uh, but when comparing to all the other companies that have sent me guns for nothing, I'm telling you, this is where I would spend my money. So without any further ado, I'll say to you, hold fast, stay the course. True Exodus, out.